Swole Benji here. Are you sure Today I'm going that? to go over ways guilds screw their members over. These experiences come from stories on several different web forums and from my own personal experience with guilds. If you haven't yes. run into a guild that has done these things, consider yourself lucky. For this yeah, video, I'll be doing some cringe voices. Let's get into it. First example is when guilds who are comprised of real-life friends use outsiders for their own game. If you're in a loot council guild, no matter how early you show up, no matter if you top the meters, no matter if you help your fellow guild, these guys will just see you as an instrument to further their friend's progression. Bruh. Do the AFK raiders in full greens who never once stepped foot into a dungeon get all the loot from the council? What? Do the AFK warlocks auto-following the AFK hunters auto-following the trial mage doing all the damage when the mage blade? Ooh. You might just be a tool then. Ain't nobody got time for that! Hi there, I'd like to join your guild. Well howdy there, feller! You wanna join our guild? Yeehaw, partner, let's go! Now don't you worry one bit, Skippy. We'll make you a trial member for about, oh, say six weeks, and then after that, we'll trust you enough to start getting some loot, sonny. Now don't forget your consumables and raid buffs, just to show your fighting spirit, my boy. What? What the f- Yes, that sounds most excellent. After two whole months of not getting any raid loot. <laughs> Hi, it's been 60 days. And I see you are loot counseling all the gear to your friend's alts now, whose mains don't even raid anymore, so, um... Can I please have some loot, please, sir? Please? <laughs> now wait just a darn two minute there, sonny. We have a fair and distinguished loot council of the brightest minds. Now, just cause you done complained about your loot council, we're gonna have to make you pay, boy. You're gonna have to be in the loot dungeon until you learnt your lesson. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me suck on your toes. Please forgive me. Are you licking around those bunions on my feet? That's it. Now you really done getting any loot. Now that you ever were anyway, you ain't one of my fellers. You're just a stranger. Also, we don't like the way you post on that there 4chan site, you sinner. <laughs> How dare you taint your guild with your presence. Got he. See, yet another victim of the loot council. In this example, the mage named Beastly was loot cut by the guild named Team Knockout. Names have been changed to protect the innocent and the sinful. Okay. Now we have streamer guilds. Usually they just use their massive influence on poor children as means of free labor to quickly recruit, bolster their numbers, and ultimately screw over people they pretend to be friends with. Let's watch as a streamer absolutely abuses the good intentions of a player he manipulated into thinking he was a friend. Mm. Yes. Guys, one in the chat if you're a bro, two in the chat if you've gotta go. Listen up, sheeple. Treasure Gar Emlins is recruiting, yeah. You'd better join or else you don't support the stream and me. Mm. Be a good little viewer and roll healers for daddy. Oh, my pay piggy, I mean, Burly was caught paying an overseas man to power level his character. Listen up, you little shits. You're going to abandon all of your friends and family and follow me to this dead refugee server. My fellow gremlins already secured the subreddits and discord rights to the name. Yes. I'm going to use all of you to get in hand of Ragnaros I am. And there ain't shit you're going to do about it. Mm. Oh, try me, bitch. Hey, man. Like... You guys are cool and all, but I'm gonna stay here. I might roll an alt one day to play with you lads, but best of luck. The fuck you say to me? How dare you defy me, the king of the loot? I mean, treasure goblins. Erm, um, gremlins. Yes. <laughs> Attack my minions, find out who this guy is, and send plumbers to his... Oh, he's homeless? Well, fuck. <laughs> Do your research before getting involved with streamers. They could be dangerous, convicted felons. One day you sign up to raid to get loot. The next, you got rough looking guys kicking down your door saying they got a suspicious call. Wait a minute. Are raid epics worth getting in real life raided? 
You decide. I'm not gonna report you. A guild that straight up lies to you about how it deals out items should be avoided. After all, a man's word is everything these days. Hi, I'd like to join your guild. That sounds good to me. Got any questions? I have a question regarding loot. It's main spec then off spec, correct? Yes, that is correct. We here at Sopranos Guild won't ever lie or deceive you about such things. What about rogues? Do dagger rogues, specced as daggers, get to roll on swords? No, that just wouldn't be ethical. It'd be unfair to our sword rogues. So what about if a sword rogue, even if they have a crappy green sword, wants to roll on a dagger and is currently using swords in the raid with a sword spec, can they roll on daggers? No, if a rogue wants to roll on daggers, he must be using daggers and show up to the raid with them equipped with the proper spec. No exceptions. I, the guild leader, am a rogue myself. I know Ooze Priest said that non-tank or healer guild leaders is a red flag, but... You can trust me. Sounds great! I'll pass on all swords and only roll daggers! It is now Raid Night. Our protagonist, we'll call him Muscular Benny, just down to Raid Boss, topping the meters without consumables, versus the other rogues who have more, better gear, and consumables. Anyway. Wow, a dagger dropped! And there's only two other dagger rogues in the raid! The other five rogues are all swords! This is gonna be so cool if I win it! As the rolls go out, Muscular Benny notes that every single rogue in the raid rolled for the dagger. Alright then, looks like the winner of the roll goes to Swordy Mick Sword Swords. Everyone give him a big round of applause. Wait a minute! I thought it was the main spec off spec! We even discussed this y yesterday, y y you said- I know what I said, but we're doing this my way. Denied. Luckily, Swole Benji, I mean Muscular Benny, took Ooze Priest's advice and didn't invest his time, effort, gold, or emotions into this guild. So it wasn't much of a loss, other than a measly five-day lockout or one-sixth of a paid subscription. Had he invested lots of energy into this guild, well, he would have been heartbroken. So far, we've covered scummy guilds, but what about stressful guilds? Guilds where the souls of the poor raiders are stripped away, molded into unstoppable killing machine robots, bent on destroying bosses at breakneck speed. Let's take a look, shall we? If I see any of you log in before raid time, and you waste a single second of the world buff, you are G-kicked forever! Okay, now everyone, follow this exact path around the corner, and if you don't hug that wall just right, you are done! Do you hear me? Bruh. As the raid kills Trash, a member accidentally positioned himself one pixel to the left, causing the mob to pop him into the air for half a second. How dare you get knocked into the air! You just messed our parses up! You are demoted to the bench with you! You know the exact pixel to stand on, and you didn't do it, so you must be punished! <laughs> Luckily, no one will remember or care about any of this stuff ten years from now. No one should ever play video games for these reasons, but instead, try to foster positive memories from said game. Think about it. Do you remember your kill-death ratio from back in the Halo 2 days? Nope! Or, do you remember all the fun you had with your friends, assuming you had friends? Nope! This has been a Swole Benji production. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, just invite me to your guild and screw me over in some sadistic way. I'm sure my revenge-fueled autism of never being able to forgive anyone will bring you much joy and you string me along like a thirsty virgin dangling the perdition's blade on a string. Okay. But seriously, guys, there's a lot of bad guilds and I that I can cover. Just look at the Reddit subreddits or those channels that make Asmongold videos and you'll see thousands of examples of crap like this. If you never 
ever had to deal with this crap? Then consider yourself lucky, okay? That's it for me until next time. As always, be a bro and stay swole.